So I had some news a couple of days ago that I've been sitting on, but Raymond uh, Muratai's trainer, Robert Garcia, has put out some re real big news um, saying that Muratai was offered a fight for Tiafimo Lopez for June 29th, the fight that he chose for uh, Steve Claggett. I heard a lot of fans recently saying that uh, they wanted to see Tiafimo Lopez fight Matias. Uh, and a lot of things a couple of months ago. Now a lot of fans are saying that Tia Fimo needs a break. And you know what I'm saying? Like quit a lot of people I, I notice a lot of fans right now is they're begging these fighters to get in the ring with certain guys and then when things go wrong, they wanna have plan B's or rematches and things like that. So it's definitely a lot of stuff going on. But Remy Miratai exposes how uh, he offered. Uh, he was offered a fight from uh, Tiafimo Lopez for June 29th. Well, his trainer does allegedly, and um, it was they turned it down. You know what I'm saying? Tiafimo Lopez did not want to give Raymond Miratai a chance at the 140 belt, and you gotta understand, a lot of people will watch Miratai fight Lopez, so that's not a bad fight, and that lets you know that Miratai is actually trying to get some smoke out here. And that Tiafimo Lopez turned down the fight. So even though Tiafimo Lopez tried to make something happen with Matias, and Matias had an injury, now with this situation, Miratai doesn't have an in uh, injury. He's available. Now it's a situation where he goes with Steve Claggett. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people right now, that I don't know, bro. I don't know how to feel about that. You know, to be honest with you, um, with Tiafimo Lopez saying that he can beat Crawford, since Tiafimo Lopez said he can beat Crawford, he needs he him not fighting Miratai. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. And people say, well, Miratai is a one thirty five. So is Jermaine Ortiz before he moved up to one forty. So that doesn't make a lot of sense. And he's with top rank, so that makes a whole lot of sense. But it's not good. It's not a good thing right now for guys to turn down certain fights. And for fans to go along with it. Uh, and then in certain situations, like with the situation with Zoo and Fandora right now, people was trying to set up all kind of fights for Crawford. You had people talking about Crawford and Zoo, Crawford and Tia, Female Lopez. Now both of these guys, they got to go worry about other fights now because they're setting up fights like they're at that level to where they're guaranteed going to win or look good in their fight and they need, need this guy next. Now a lot of people backpedaling and changing around saying, oh, well, something happened or this. And, you know, that's what I'm saying. A lot of guys, they're not standing firm. And I've been telling fans a long time, if you're going to have a fighter who's going to be able, who's going to be calling people out, he better show up the day he fights. Because these guys talk just as much as Roley does. Oh, this guy ducking. These guys are cowards. So, okay, we're going to see. We starting to find out who every all that talking that people been doing. We starting to find out now. Okay, that's what they've been saying. Oh, that's how they feel about the situation. Well, let's let's find out then. Let's see how good these guys really are. Cause what I see right now, these guys really ain't on that level. They ain't that good. Not not to the level where they calling out people and everything else and saying somebody's ducking you in boxing, and you turn down top five guys. Top 10, top 5 guys. Nah. And then the, fights, the fight was offered. It wasn't like Miratai wasn't offered to fight. And they like, nah, we don't want to fight him. He was offered to fight. And got the fight. And then didn't get it. Because they went another direction. Man, I'm telling you, bro. A lot of these people, they're definitely not... Um, a lot of these fans, they not in tune with what really goes on. They never, they really not in tune. Then they try to explain a lot of stuff. You, I don't really got to explain Terrence Crawford on uh on on um, in a boxing conversation. I don't have to explain anything about him. What do I have to explain about him? That he's been knocking everybody out. Your favorite fighter, if you got if your favorite fighter got in the ring with him, he most likely got knocked out. So. What is there to discuss about what uh, Terrence Crawford has going on? That's why a lot of times fans try to explain certain things in certain situations. 
and it did, it really doesn't make any sense. If your if your boxer is really a boogeyman and that guy, and then we're gonna find out. You know what I'm saying? Please don't let him have no losses. I don't like people calling guys boogeyman these days who got losses. Ah, uh, that definitely that's not gonna happen while I'm on Earth. I'm not calling nobody a boogeyman who's uh who lost before. That's one thing. Uh, ain't nobody running from nobody with an L. That's for sure. And then another thing, well, it depends. It depends. Certain situations, guys do run from guys with L's. But certain people that just jumped on the scene and they don't have a big name on their resume at all, at all, no. Nah, please don't count on Vic. No, nah, don't do that, man. I think a lot of wins, with certain guys get a lot of wins or upsets because of their style, I think that makes fans think they're unbeatable. Then a lot of people, they just want to follow certain fighters. And then when they get into a situation like TFEMO, they kind of disappear. But uh, I would like to see what everybody thinks about that because it's definitely breaking news to me. Definitely breaking news to me because a lot of people say guys guys have been ducked and Terrence Crawford don't want to fight TFEMO and all these other guys. So. Raymond Maritai, he getting turned down from a fight that was offered. So can anybody explain that? What they got to do with Terrence Crawford versus Tia Fimo? What about Maritai versus Tia Fimo? That's all I got, though. Like and subscribe.